on both the sides have only been mounting as the war continues to rage on. From Sydney to Rome, protests have now erupted across the globe, with demonstrators demanding an end to the ongoing violence. Take a look. As the Israel-Hamas war rages on, protests have erupted across the globe. Standing in solidarity with Palestine, thousands hit the streets of Sydney. Sydney has been always our land and it will remain our land. It's not the first colonization and it's not going to be the last. Palestinians always emerge victorious and we will get through this. Waving Palestinian flags, protesters march through the Australian city. Free, free Palestine! Free, free What's happening is no good. Obviously, the killing needs to stop. Um, children, for families, hospitals, it all needs to stop. Honestly, what, what Israel is doing is not acceptable. Free, free Gaza! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Peruvian capital, a group of demonstrators protested outside the U.S. Embassy. Well, I'm a son of a refugee. His father was and his whole family were kicked out of Palestine. And I'm coming here to protest for the genocide that this Israeli government is doing to, to all my Palestinian people. Dozens turned to the Israeli embassy in Mexico City, lighting candles and chanting slogans in support of Palestine. A march took place in central London in support of Palestinians in Gaza. Hundreds demonstrated in Rome, calling for an end to the Israel-Hamas war. Since the unprecedented attack by Hamas on October 7, more than 6,900 rockets have been fired at Israel. More than 1,400 massacred, at least 200 held hostage. More than 4,000 have been killed in Palestine. The clamor for peace is only growing louder by the minute. Agency Report, Republic TV. Liverpool and Everton observed a minute's silence during the Saturday's match at Anfield in the memory of the thousands of lives lost in the Israel-Hamas war. Century Laminates gets you this report. On Saturday, Liverpool welcomed Everton to Anfield for the Merseyside derby. The match started with a minute of silence before kickoff, and all players, managers, and match officials were wearing black armbands in memory of thousands of lives lost in the ongoing war in Israel and Palestine. More than 5,000 lives have been lost on both sides following the unprecedented attack by Hamas on Israel on October 7th. Agency Report, Republic TV. As Israel makes it clear that it will continue invading Hamas, Egypt on Saturday called a peace summit for negotiations between Israel and Gaza. Here's all you need to know. Egypt's President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi organized a summit calling for an end to the war. On agenda was humanitarian aid to Gaza, ceasefire negotiations and the resumption of Israel-Palestine peace talks. In attendance were the Prime Ministers of Iraq, Italy, Spain, Greece and Canada and the President of the European Council. However, no consensus has been reached. ويخطئ في فهم طبيعة الشعب الفلسطيني من يظن أن هذا الشعب الأبي الصامد راغب في مغادرة أرضه حتى لو كانت هذه الأرض تحت الاحتلال أو القصف كما أؤكد للعالم بوضوح 
ولسان مبين وبتعبير صادق عن إرادة وعزم جميع أبناء الشعب المصري فردا فردا إن تصفية القضية الفلسطينية دون حل عادل لن يحدث وفي كل الأحوال لن يحدث أبدا على حساب مصر UK has called for the Israeli military to exercise restraint in Gaza. I'm sure we all share the revulsion at Hamas's uh, murderous acts of terrorism, the targeting of the uh, civilians, the murdering of children, the desecration of dead bodies. And I'm sure we are all distressed by the plight of Palestinian civilians in Gaza, whose lives have been made harder more painful and more dangerous because of the brutal attacks by Hamas on the 7th of October. And we all mourn the dead, both Israeli and Palestinian.